what's up guys so we have a new fastest spa unit now on some people's screens it says 0.05 spa but on mine it says 0.1 spa so i don't know what's up so since we do have this new op fast spa unit hey i think it's time for us to go do the new fastest spa units only challenge let's get it popping all right you know what i think it's a good time for us to try out this new solo mode so if you guys don't know they redid a lot of the maps so uh, we're gonna be trying the new solo map you know what let's see how hard it is also guys don't forget to smash the subscribe button help us reach 500k subs to get our next code unit and don't forget to use star code blam whenever buying robux or premium all right here we go guys all right oh man this map Ooh, this map is looking mighty sus man this might be one of the hardest maps in the game dang all right you know what I think we're just gonna go put our units by the defend i'm wondering if this is like some sort of weird like weird like multi-path map or something like that now thankfully we do have a hybrid units so hopefully we should be okay um... okay i'm really confused with this map why is the defend here okay i'm really confused yeah i do not know what's going on with this map why don't we uh see where we, we're about to get hit at Okay, so it goes around. Okay, will it hit this defend? No, it goes right through the defend. I'm really confused. So it goes right through the defend and then it keeps zigzagging around? That's actually interesting. I don't know why the defend is in the middle though. So I guess this is the real defend. Interesting. Very interesting map, guys. Pretty cool though. So I think, it's, I think we might actually start using this map more often. Cause uh, I like this map because you can actually see things unlike the other maps. Dang, all right, here we go. Let's go try out our new unit though. Poochie, yes sir. 0 0.1 SPA, that is what we're talking about right there, guys. All right, he does have an upgrade and look at that. So it's gonna almost double his damage, which is very, very nice. Let's get that. Oh man, so we can't upgrade him anymore because one of the rules of this challenge is it has to be the fastest SPA upgrades, the one you stay on. So unfortunately, we cannot get any more damage from this which is a little bit disappointing but it's gonna be what it has to be so uh, we'll see if it's gonna be enough for us to get the dub though but uh, in the meantime i think we can go check out some of the other units but it's disappointing but it does have a pretty cool effect though at least oh well wish he wasn't like that kind of weird of a unit which is kind of another reason we bring idol is because i know a lot of these units are kind of cheaper because their more expensive upgrades increase their spa so we can't really get those as part of the challenge here we go guys here's the proof look at this it says when you upgrade him his spa goes all the way down to 0.05 now i have a theory guys all right and that is that it rounds the spa so it actually is 0.05 but it's rounded so that is one of the theories i have so uh, i'm not really sure what's up with that so maybe the all-star devs can let me know but that's my theory guys is he actually does have that 0.1 spa but it's rounded so it's kind of a little bit inaccurate so uh you guys let me know what you think about that theory but it does say when you evo him 0.05 spa so uh maybe the devs can clarify that all right here we go let's go get our boy springy down one of the most og units in the game yes sir guys everybody loves springy he's goaded definitely one of my favorite units in the game and super amazing for like soloing afking whatever you need to do all right look at that guys yeah he's really really good for um uh, soloing that star pass all right honestly springy alone can really really get you up there in waves so here we go let's go get our idol all the way up here now the reason we're bringing idol guys is of course for her buff and her money and honestly these units aren't that expensive because you're gonna see that like yeah like all their expensive upgrades yeah that, that increases their spa so we, do, we just don't use them you know because that's cheating so uh, here we go 80k there we go and get one more to increase her range quite a bit now honestly this might be the easiest map in the game look how long it is and like you can just put your units in the middle and they'll probably hit the whole map <laughs> is that good pretty dang op guys i'm not gonna lie all right there we go she is now all the way maxed out for what she needs to be all right so i think it's time for us to go be smart and let's go get our blackbeards down now all right blackbeards gonna be a little bit awkward to place here last there we go not bad all right looking good so far we'll get another one here on first i'm kind of feeling one here on on i'm kind of feeling one here on last actually mm. all right here we go get this guy popping off too 
and this guy as well and this guy as well all right hopefully this is gonna be enough blackbeard now blackbeard technically doesn't have a fast spa but like he kind of does as well it's kind of hard to say I, I don't know how to explain it but it is what it is now if we can we probably will get one max poochie because i feel like time acceleration would count for a fast spa because that just kind of makes sense so uh, we will be getting that if we can afford it but before we do i think it's time for us to check out some other of the units actually we'll wait for them to get through the blackbeards so uh, let's go uh, keep farming up the money and see how much we can you know get moneyed up hey maybe blackbeard really does deserve such a high bounty guys i think he has like one of the highest bounties in one piece and hey I, I i mean he's doing it now that i think about it i feel like maybe blackbeard deserves a seven star or something because like isn't he like one of the most powerful characters in one piece like why does his damage cap out at a solid 2.2k i feel like that's a little bit of disrespect oh i do forgot we, we do have air units we probably should have bring katakuri no i mean um uh, ichigo or something uh, 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 pretend you didn't see that guy uh, we'll be all right here don't worry about it Oh my gosh, we do got a lot of air units popping in. Alright, so speaking of air units, I think we have a few more that hit airs. Or is it just him? Okay, yeah, this guy doesn't hit airs yet, so I guess we got Bobblehead as well. So let's go get our Bobblehead up to speed. Now, Bobblehead does have some good upgrades. Now, the only problem with Bobblehead is that 0 0.4, which is kind of mid. Alright. But, um, uh, it is what it is. But, a lot of good upgrades, guys. So, 10,000 DPS, still pretty dang good. And then we got um, uh, Zamasu. Now Zamasu also changes their enchantment, but that only works in story modes and only works when the enemy already has an element basically. And he actually gets some pretty decent damage. Now the only nice thing that makes him like really good is look at that, he also has AOE guys. Now every other like SPA of one unit is like a um, uh, single target. P Pucci does have AOE as well, but I'm gonna be honest, the AOE is kind of small, but it's still pretty decent. So like, it's not the end of the world. All right, so now we are going to get one Poochie all the way to max. Now, the reason being is he does have this ability called Time um, uh, time Acceleration. All right, now we want to see what Time Acceleration does. Because I guess my question is, does Time Acceleration have anything to do with SPA? And if it does, hey, you know what? It might be worth it for us to check it out. But in the meantime, I think it's time for us to go spam all of these guys down. All right, really try to max out all of that. And of course, guys, let's get that buff rolling. There we go. Look at that, guys. Quite a bunch of DPS right here. Dang. Look at that. 152K for 0 0.4. 18K, but with AoE, not bad at all. Honestly, pretty popping off. Like, really, re oh, didn't want to buy that upgrade. There we go. And there we go. Now you want the, all the Zamasu's kind of like more in the front area. Because you really want them to like, you know, use the, all their AOE to their advantage. Now I'm going to try to have them hit as many passes as possible, but it's not really the biggest deal in the world. I think we should still be mostly okay. Plus our DPS isn't that insane. We're probably not going to get like the most highest wave of all time, but we should still do pretty well. There we go. We got all the eight of those placed. And we do have a lot of air defense as well. I would say most of our units are hitting airs. I would say like Pucci is the only unit that doesn't hit airs as long as as well as Zamasu. But I think Zamasu, yeah, I don't think Zamasu ever becomes hybrid. I'm not. Maybe it becomes hybrid later. I forget. But definitely not in the 0 0.1 SPA upgrades. All right, here we go. And here we go. And perfect, 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 perfect. There we go. I think we're all good to go besides Springy. And Springy, I think he also has a very good... Yeah, he's a very good ratio too. But not quite as good as, like, all the other ones. But I wish they would make, like, a 0 0.1 SPA unit that stayed 0 0.1 SPA. Because all these units, they just change. And it's kind of sad. That's why I was a little bit disappointed that Poochie's changed too. I thought it would be cool to have Poochie always stay at, like, that low SPA. I feel like the only unit that doesn't change is um, a Gilgamesh, but he has like a, an ability that like lets him change it, so it's kind of doesn't count. All right, there we go. We got all the springies maxed out and ready to go. So I think it's time for us to um, see how far we can make it. So it looks like the air units are kind of, you, you know, getting a little farther than I would like, but uh, it is kind of, you know, the problem with us using Blackbeard instead. Yikes. So I think the only unit we can now spam is Poochie. 
Now look at that. Poochie DPS is just not really hitting. At least he's AoE. Alright. That is the only feather he has in his cap. Because other than that, his damage is kind of mid. But... I mean, honestly, who's better? What, which would you rather have? 3.68 for 0 0.1? I mean... He's not that much worse than Zamasu, I guess. And especially considering he has less upgrades. But he is what he is. Alright, here we go. Wave 64. So far, we're chilling. So, uh, let's go, uh, let's go wait for these enemies to get a little bit farther through. Alright, here we go, guys. Wave 70. So far, it looks like we're doing pretty well. And we're honestly handling the air units a lot better than I thought we would. Like, I mean, most of our units are, are air DPS anyway, so. Here we go. So, we got time acceleration. And, uh, let's see what that does exactly. It's supposed to be a pretty good upgrade. Hmm. But I don't think we need to quite use it, though. So, I guess we're, we're still doing way too well. Because everything's getting completely yeeted once they actually hit the range of our enemies. I mean, of our units. Like, look, as soon as they hit this range, they all just die instantly, which is pretty cool. But once they start getting far enough, I'd say maybe once they start getting to, like, here, we'll try the ability. Alright, but it looks like we do have a bunch of air units that are kind of sliding through because they're not getting slowed. But thankfully, they're not too, like, beefy that we can actually handle them. They added, like, text outline on a lot of things, which is kind of interesting, but it makes it look better. Alright, also, our attack effects are kind of starting to bug us. So, I think it's time for us to turn them off. There we go. Alright, there's the air units that we can still handle, thankfully. These guys are definitely a little bit rough, though. Alright, so... Okay, there's even more air units. I thought we killed them all, but I guess not. Alright, then interesting wave 76 though so we're doing pretty well definitely not a bad amount all right yeah still not close enough for us to use this ability yet though all right we can finally use the ability now but we did make it all the way to wave 83 which is pretty dang good so uh, let's go use time acceleration okay i'm not i'm still not sure exactly what that did sba seen the same hit everybody still hits airs that we're supposed to hit airs Maybe, I think it just makes them take more damage. That's my guess. Interesting. All right. But I guess we're just going to use universe reset now. There we go. So it looks like that one just time stops them. Did they get teleported somewhere? Like, where are they? I don't know. It looks like they just got yeeted. Interesting. Yeah, I'm still not sure what Poochie does exactly. I'm not going to lie. Not gonna lie. All right, let's see if we can use time acceleration again. Let's see if there's like a um, uh, cooldown on that one. Oh no, I think you can just spam it. That's pretty cool. So my guess is it just makes the enemies take more damage. But uh, we'll see. All right, wave 88 though, pretty dang good. All right, looks like this air unit's gonna go s destroy us though. All right, kind of sucks. But wave 88 is still a very respectable wave for no time stop. But dang, GG's guys. GG. Wave 89. There we go. Looking good, guys. So there you go. Fastest SPA units. Pretty OP. Plus, we got a bunch of gems as well. Some XP units. Sick, man. Let's get this dubs.